It is a race against the wear and tear of time and circumstance. Efforts have stepped up to revitalize and preserve the terraces and, more importantly, the rich culture of this people. At the heart of the matter is the exo-migration of Ifugao, lured by the promise of a better life in the lowlands. These common folk concede to the fact that the terraces give them food, but the harvest is not enough to provide for their formal education and a perceived higher standard of living. The local government began to address the issue. They're bent. Keep them in. Refurbish the economy. They are finding ways to augment the flow of income for the average Ifugao and are exploring other products potentially marketable outside the province. Aside from the famed Ifugao rice, they have branched out to tap other foodstuff likewise found in the terraces. From the common taro planted abundantly in terraces, locals have developed a kind of chocolate-coated s'mores now being sold alongside the known Arabica Robusta coffee blend grown and ground in the province. And then there is yuyu or dojo, the small eel-like Japanese fish bred in the knee-deep waters of the terraces, best served fried or cooked in brine and ginger. A favorite among East Asian visitors and a prospective crowd drawer for its very likable flavor, yuyu is slowly being revived in the market. The fish was brought to the area by Japanese soldiers during the Ifugao stint in the Second World War. Present-day Ifugao is indelibly marked by the Japanese occupation. Among these mountains, a significant chapter played out in the closing days of the war, the final flight and surrender of the Tiger of Malaya, General Tomoyuki Yamashita. A peak in the town of Mayoya is the site of the last skirmish between the Japanese forces and the joint troops of the USAF and Filipino soldiers, directly preceding the fall of General Yamashita. This old school building in the town of Kiangan is the site of the informal submission of the general before he proceeded to Baguio City to formalize his surrender in the presence of General John Wainwright. Not too far from the school is the Kiangan War Memorial Shrine, built to commemorate the end of the Second World War and the beginning of peace worldwide. From the top of this edifice, a far-reaching view of Kiangan's fog kissed summits and the capital town of Lagawe can be seen. History enveloped within the vastness of the rice terraces. This in itself makes the province of Ifugao a worthy destination for any journeyman. With a steady stream of outsiders showing immense appreciation for the landscapes and cultural uniqueness of the province of Ifugao, the natives have rekindled their pride for their own identity. As much as they have become open to foreign influence, they are streaming back to their roots. Of course, the marriage of past and present often yields an eye-catching offspring. In province-wide festivals, one novel attraction is regularly featured, the race of the wooden scooters. These are goodwill games and are more like an unusual showdown of the artistry and ingenuity of the Ifugao. Scooters driven by nothing else but gravity, smoothly the exhibition begins. By the end of the course they would have rode through a kilometer's worth of downward slope. Chewing their beetle leaf and a rika nut restores their energy for the hardest part of the race. The epilogue trip 
back up where they took off. In Tiangan, another event of brawn and muscle takes its course. These games are not just games, but a way of settling disputes and remarkably are still honored as such in some parts of Ifugao up to this day. The dart game, wherein the opponent stands six to seven meters apart, is held to decide guilt for theft. If the accuser fails to hit the suspect, the latter is innocent. To settle issues of land ownership, wrestling matches are called. The victor's land claim is assumed to be correct. These men wear G-strings woven by skilled traditional artists of Ifugao. A closer look would reveal that their strips have no patterns. They are only plain stripes of red and very deep blue. In contrast, the G-string strip woven by this Ifugao woman is richly decorated with symbols. Human forms, stars, spearheads, fern stalks, lizards, serpents, mortars. The division of classes in Ifugao is manifested not through slavery, not through the blatant subordination of the lower class, but through the designs of their clothing. Only the wealthy class of Ifugao is licensed to wear these kinds of weave. Philip Lakbawan, an indigenous knowledge expert from the town of Hongduan, is in the company of two members of the wealthy class. He expounds on their complete ensemble of clothing and accessories. So this one here is made out of sheng, imported long time ago from Indonesia. And this was used before as a medium of exchange. Uh, it's like money. And usually a complete one is 42 pieces, including the uh, big one. This is what we call the gidutu or the nobility belt. This is tied to the scabbard and this is the double-bladed weapon. We call it the hinalong. These are only used during the time when there is what we call the bumaya or a festival. But ordinarily when they go to the forest to cut trees for firewood or for making houses, they do not use this one. They remove it and they use an ordinary string. This one here is the nobility blanket which we call it the uh, bayaung. This is what we call the uh, kango or the horn beer. This one here is like the crown of England. This is our crown. So if you have attained the stature of the being the rich man, then you wear this one. The wealthy class of Ifugao is called the Kadangyan, and to this day they remain the romantic symbol of generosity and authority respected throughout the ages. As far as our income level is uh, concerned, that means you can afford to conduct a fiesta, which we call Bumaya. The Bumaya is a feast that marks the important events in the life of an Ifugao. Marriage, a good harvest, even the graduation of a son or daughter from a university. It involves the slaughter of carvows and pigs that would be enough to feed hundreds of well-wishers. That's why we do not make mansions in Ifugao, because it's better to eat than to make mansions.